this video covers desalination of water in particularly the desalination of water by reverse osmosis I guess briefly I will go through the other two method along with this see here what do you mean by a desalination the desalination is a process of removal of salt from sea water to the extent that the water becomes usable that is called as a desalination it is described as a desal removal of salt content desalination so we remove the salt content and that process what we called it as a desalination of water so the water usually categorized into three category fresh water brackish water and sea water depending upon the percentage of the salt present in the water so we we may adopt uh, three methods reverse osmosis method flash uh, multi stage flash distillation method and the third method is a electrodialysis first i'll take a reverse osmosis method in the reverse osmosis method here uh, we use a semi permeable membrane a semi permeable membrane is placed between the sea water and the pure water so i'll take here a one in one tank i'll take a, a semi permeable membrane a, this semi permeable membrane is placed between the sea water and the fresh water what is the natural tendency the natural tendency is to solvent has a natural tendency flow through the membrane into the sea water the fresh water they migrate towards the sea water this is actual direction but this direction can be reversed by applying the pressure which is greater than the osmotic pressure of the sea water here i'll apply pressure which is greater than the osmotic pressure of the sea water so as a result the fresh water from the sea water they tends to flow from uh flow to fresh water that process what we called it as a reverse osmosis okay so as a result the water level if you apply a um, pressure to on the surface on the sea water as a result the fresh water from sea water they tends to move towards the fresh water as a result the volume increases so we can able to collect the fresh water and this process what we called it as a reverse osmosis then how the reverse osmosis usually carried out by a osmosis cell the osmosis cell is shown here it consists of a large perforated it's a semi permeable membrane which is usually made up of cellulose assisted semi permeable membrane or polymethyl metacrylate or polyamide membrane so the sea water is separated from the fresh water through semi permeable membrane made up of cellulose acetate semi permeable membrane or polyamide or methyl metacrylate semi permeable and these membranes are supported uh, supported by a perforated plates a pressure of about 40 15 to 40 kilo kilo joule sorry kg per centimeter square is applied on a saline water as a result we will apply a pressure on the saline water as a result of reverse osmosis fresh water here what we introduce is a sea water as a result the fresh water moves towards to through semi permeable membrane uh, to towards uh, fresh water from sea water the fresh water ma migrate towards to fresh water and can be uh, through semi permeable membrane and can be collected from the respective outlets from the bottom of the cell and here the brain what is sea water the concentration goes on increases and it is collected from the other uh, outlet the formed fresh water contains less than 100 mg per liter of uh, dissolved salt this is the working principle of the uh, reverse osmosis and again the quantity of uh, water what we get the uh, that depends upon the flow of water is proportional to the applied pressure in turn it depends upon the characteristic of the film further greater the number of tubes larger is the surface area and hence more production of fresh water is observed the concentrated brine and the fresh water are removed from the respective outlet here we observe the perforated plates in this systematic diagram or you can take this one also the process is a simple main advantage is the process is a simple it involves no phase change no external heat the other two method what we called it as a multi stage flash distillation method in the multi stage flash distillation method the saline water is introduced to flash chamber in which the pressure is maintained less than the vapor pressure of the saline water this results 
the water gets evaporated whereas the salts are non volatile so the steam on condensed produces fresh water so the multi stage flash distillation process is repeated for several time to get a pure water then uh, the other method would be called is a electrodialysis that is a process of decreasing concentration of the salt from saline water using ion selective membrane under the influence of applied emf so when they apply if emf if, if applied the ions migrate towards oppositely charged uh, electrode through semi permeable through ion selective permeable membrane there are two kinds of ion selective membrane cation selective membrane and anion selective membrane the cation selective membrane can able to or it help to pass through uh, only cation allows only cation whereas anion permeable membrane allows only anion in this way we can able to minimize the concentration of uh, ions uh, in the uh, fresh uh, uh, or we can able to collect the fresh water from the uh, sea water thank you